a Big Spark Studios original. Are we live? I believe we are recording. And if we're not, well then... Guys, this was the final try. Hey, everybody. (laughs) What's up? And welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast that I am noticing my levels are high. They're hot. But I'm not. Oh, they're hot. Is that the word? Like when they're in red, they're hot. (gasps) Coming in hot. Oh, look at this. Not even a minute in. We're all learning something. And by we all, I mean me. Um... Before we get into it, be sure to not only rate and review Unhinged with Chris Clemens, but also subscribe to it wherever you listen to your podcasts. And then if you guys are into video episodes, uh, we upload those to youtube.com slash Chris. And it really gives off the vibe of like, hey, we're Skyping. I don't know why I said that and not like (laughs) Zooming, but whatever. Um, Now, before we get into the episode, I wanted to do a little shout out for just like if you have some extra money laying around or want to feel fulfilled today, a place you can donate. Um, I found this GoFundMe and it reads the following Sunday, July 10th at noon, Bradley Coleman was gunned down by carjackers while putting air in his tires at the QT on the corner of Peachtree Corner Circle and Peachtree Parkway. Bradley had a little girl and because of these criminals, she's lost her daddy. Her, he graduated from Norcross High School and won Mr. Norcross 2011, won Norcross High School State Basketball Championship, played college ball at Southern University in Louisiana, and came back to Georgia to coach high school football. Please pray for his little girl and his family during this horrific time. Rest in peace, B-Rad. That link will be down in the description of this episode. If you have just a little extra, I think the GoFundMe is pretty close um, and I thought it would be a fun way for all of us to come together and help out this family um, during a time that I just genuinely cannot imagine. Um, and then also midterm elections are coming up. So I don't know, maybe vote for someone who isn't stuffing their pockets from the NRA. Ah. Um, alrighty, it is July 15th. How's everyone doing? We just uh, did like what I imagine just a day in the life of Geek Squad. Except I did nothing. I, like, literally just sit here and I'm, like, being annoying. But Sam and Justin, like, literally slay the day away. We're, trouble, we're troubleshooting. We're troubleshooting. <laughs> we're troubleshooting. How's everybody doing? What's Give me something fun and something shitty that's happened. Like, peak and pit. Hmm. But I'll do mine. Peak is the hardwood floor on my second floor and bathroom floors have been laid. Woo! And then my pit would be that i literally miss you guys and we have to do this Aww. over fucking zoom or whatever this is i don't even know if this is zoom we don't know where we are i don't know where we are if we both hopped on a train right now we could meet if we both just lunged at our cameras maybe we would go through <laughs> we'll just converge. yeah we'll just meet in the e- oh my god and that is the what is it called? Metaverse. Metaverse. Thank you. It's just so <laughs> stupid. It doesn't like store. Like I don't even store that in my brain. It's so fucking stupid. Okay. Give me your picks, peaks and pits, bitches. Um, I made a late night omelet. And have you ever cracked an egg and then two yolks come out? Oh, <gasps> no. <laughs> double yolk. Oh, my God. Double yolk, bitch. That's, a, that's like sick. Uh, yeah. that's. I feel like that's one of those things you make a wish on. Like an eyelash. Or, did you wish? Uh, did I make a wish? And yeah. No, but I should. Wow, you fucked up that bag. How quickly do you have to make the wish? Or do I have that? I mean, I'm no genie. I just have the body type of one. But I would say, like, right then and there. Yeah. Just as, like, I don't know, a guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Pit Dude, I found this fucking... I go in the bathroom. This was a couple nights ago, but... Oh, wow. This really... This could go a few ways, I fear. Uh, no, it was like three in the morning and I look on the countertop and I go, ha ha ha. Like I thought Justina had bought like a fake cockroach. Like, cause it because was they, fucking huge. You should also give a background to that. You guys do that. You have like, you've done it to me. I put they, fake they, cockroaches. They put fake under- cockroaches. They look so real. What is wrong? Justin, I love you with like more love than. I like tricks and pranks. <laughs> he put it. I, 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 I shouldn't tell people where I had my key, but. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> but wherever I hide my key, Justin left cockro- fake cockroaches under it. So I opened the thing up and I was like, ah. Anyway, I got paid back in spades. Uh, it was the size of a Bic lighter. That's the, the no only point of... No literal fucking a real one. way. 
Yeah, and I've been fortunate enough not to see a, a cockroach in, like in my apartment yet, and it freaked the fuck out of me. Dude, that shit's scary. Yeah, it's funny too because you're so much bigger than it, but it's still it's like el- like an elephant being afraid of a mouse. But it's also like, did you kill it? I um I didn't. I was in the bathroom. I dumped out like a jewelry dish. <laughs> and I put it on, and then I, I got just dumped envelope. a bunch of diamond rings down the toilet and. <laughs> Time was of the essence. No. But see, and so I, I trapped it, and then I got a, a, an envelope underneath it, and then I set it free. Oh, my God. Worst mistake. Kill that bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, literally, drag me. Call, call PETA. I literally don't care. I'll go day to day. They're hard PETA. to kill, though. Call, well, another thing I learned is if you squash them and it's pregnant, the eggs shoot everywhere. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Not an image I want to know. I don't know if that was people fucking with me in college, but bro, there in my freshman year dorm, there were cockroaches, and I was the only one there because it was winter break and I was going to see a basketball game. So I was like, I'm not gonna stay in my dorm. Ah. That happened, and I was like, no, the fuck I'm not. It it was I so I beat the shit out of it, and people are like, No, that's the last thing you're supposed to do because if it's pregnant, all the eggs spray everywhere. And I was like, What are you supposed to do then? I, I literally don't know, but like fuck cockroaches holy shit oh my god that uh, it's like those big ass spiders when you're like if you stepped on that what would happen it's like same with a cockroach like (laughs) just explodes into a million little tiny versions of itself oh my god yeah have you seen those videos of like spiders who like get stomped on and then a bunch of oh all over the floor this is real a real thing yeah yes oh yeah that's awful anyways that is my new pit is hearing about that (laughs) that i i don't fuck with bugs i hate them they could fall from the face of the earth and i would sleep great except like the necessary ones that's why i don't think i can go to australia oh yeah (sighs) big big old bugs big ass spideys everything can kill you yeah that's like how i feel about australia anyway sam what's your pit and peak I am well. My pit. <laughs> uh, Justin knows about it. Um, I was walking. It's these fake cockroaches he puts all over my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, that, I hate that. But I hate that. Um, no, I was. That only fuels. That only adds fuel. Literally, <laughs> I, I hate that. By the way, you've waited till now to tell him that. That's no, sternly. It, no, because I, I threw them away, and he was like, "Don't throw them away." <laughs> You're like ship is sailed, bitch. <laughs> there's always more people. There's always more people to get. It's just embarrassing because I remember even putting them on my table and being like these stupid things, these prank things. And then later I walked by the table and was like, ah, again, even though I knew that it's I. The oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but um, no, my pit was I was walking home the other day, and I slipped. I was carrying a bag of groceries, and I slipped like right in front of our place on this weird sandy area. And it was a bad. Oh, you should it was, show it. it. No. It now? Or or the picture? Maybe we should show the picture. Oh, I'll show the it picture. Was Is it, it like blood? Like, but yeah. Okay, but trigger, trigger warning like blood. Trigger, 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 trigger warning blood. Trigger warning. It's and then really now put the bloody. picture. <laughs> and trigger it, warning, like, Sam took a spill. It gushed blood and it was dripping blood everywhere. And, um, but the peak are Justin you okay? helped you. Justin, are you Justin okay? was around. Wait, really quick yeah. before the peak. Are you good? It's healing. Yeah, that so that great. could be the peak is that it's getting better. And Justin was around to help me like bandage it. And he said it was like a bad skateboard fall. So he was very familiar with the wound. So do you have a broken knee too that you're going to crawl in front of the camera <laughs> yeah. for four yeah. months? <laughs> I mean, Jesus I Christ. I think it's okay. I don't think I heard it that bad. Hey but guys, there was, like, there's dirt. also a GoFundMe uh, down below to fund an x-ray. <laughs> <laughs> No, wow. it's good that oh my was, God. There, was, there was dirt in it. Yeah, it was, it was, and then I just couldn't do anything for the next day. So, is I it like, like on your knee? Yeah. It's like, <gasps> yeah, it's like a big knee. Oh no, my God. Like, I just we'll show, saw, like, we show them the picture? No, I just saw oh, a little see. like clip of you or like your little knee cameo. My little knee. Your little Should knee. I show them the picture now. Yeah, show them the, show them the picture. Show us the pic. Run it up, Turbo. Run it back, Turbo, whatever Turbo's doing. Oh, but it was, it was her first time using rubbing alcohol as opposed to oh, hydrogen he put peroxide. The, he put the rubbing alcohol directly in to the wound, and I was screaming. At, yeah, don't use rubbing alcohol. Oh. Th- that's how you heal it up real nice. Oh. Which one should I show them? This one? Yeah, 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 that's how you get a right. scar. Trigger Wait, warning blood. Want, I'm genuinely scared. Chris, you're not oh. looking. Oh, I thought you were texting it to us. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I literally <laughs> don't need to see that. 
<laughs> maybe we should cut that part out. What? Just blur it, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll, ju- we'll just have, have it on maybe Chris. We, maybe we should cut off your... We, th- we should warning. amputate. Maybe we should- <laughs> yeah, we put a warning. I mean, people can only expect what they're expecting. Have you had an alcohol right in your wound before? No, I've had it right in my mouth last night. <laughs> <laughs> so that was... Uh, Did you party? I, like, didn't mean to, but, like, not really, but, like, enough. You know, I went to, I ended up going to my friend's house last minute, and we were, like, just going to have dinner, and I was like, oh, I'll get us, like, stuff for Aperol spritzes. Like, that'll be a nice, like, addition to, like, a summer dinner. Like, how fucking Caucasian of us. And so I got there, and then, like, you know, one Aperol spritz turns into a second. And then I'm like, oh shit, I forgot that I'm taking my medication again. Cause I went like four days without it. And I think that's why like, I got so fucked up in New York is cause I wasn't taking my meds. But then I started taking them again, which guys don't do this by the way. It's, I'm just lazy and I'm like too tired to fill that like pill container. Um, and so, yeah, I guess I just got really fucked up. And then I took edibles. Ah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I had fun though. I had fun. I wish I uh, slept in longer, but the Verizon guy decided to uh, show up two hours late. <laughs> what was he fixing? Oh, the Wi-Fi. Um, I finally got it installed, um, and I had like a Verizon guy come out to the house, run wires through the. I mean, just like every part of it, and then my contractor was drilling a hole in the floor by the wire, and it got caught in the cord like an hour after the guy left. So it finally just got repaired, and I have Wi-Fi at my house again, which is very exciting because there's no service there. So we're going to do a podcast from your house even before it's... uh, Guys, the Wi-Fi is so fucking fast. Mm. Like, the girls aren't even ready for the speed at which I'm going to upload. I'm going to be like, bow! (laughs) You're going to send me a podcast to download, boom. Downloaded. Mm. Well, how long does it take to download those? I mean, maybe that's... My mom's (laughs) Wi-Fi? I don't know why I was so unappreciative. Uh, No, you know what? There's a reason, because it was slow. We, like, bullied her into getting faster Wi-Fi. Um, not bullied, but, like, kind of bullied. Um, it doesn't take me long, though. It took me a while in L.A. But here, the Wi-Fi is, like, fucking something that's Maybe fast that I less can't... less people on it. <laughs> so true. It's just me hogging all the bandwidth. <laughs> Instead of Andrew and me both fighting... <laughs> Delaware only has so much bandwidth. <laughs> Give it to the YouTuber. It all goes to Chris <laughs> I have a podcast, people, okay? Have some respect. Your Hulu can take a seat. Anyway, Jake, we need your pit and peak, bitch. Yeah. Um, well, I Crank think your mic I, up a little bit. I, you're talking to me? You're talking to me? Hey, can you guys hear yeah, me? Jake we can hear you. Hot. I would just hey. like scream a little, yeah. Can you crank it up anymore? Uh, I don't think so, but I can talk really loudly. That you know what? Good? You seem probably <laughs> insane in your household, but bitch, it's working. <laughs> yeah, Marty, it's not you; it's your kids. Um, so Third time, <laughs> I got I got this like Doc Marty thing going here, like Doc from uh, Back to the Future going on in my head. So that might be part of the bad thing. But I think your I think your ticket thing, Chris. I think it rubbed off on me because oh, my no. pit. <laughs> is I apparently got a parking ticket that I didn't know I got. And so I was surprised with a doubling of that parking ticket because I never paid it. Oh, but no. I, but I never, but I never got the first one. So it's you could like, probably argue that. Uh, well, I'm going to try. I'll let you know. Oh, but, yeah, uh, keep us updated. Yeah, it's it's literally double the price though. So I'm just like, this is. And yet the roads in LA still fucking blow. Like, what? Are, oh, where's this money going, bitch? I yeah I and I yeah I'm anyway so that's that's sad the the good thing was kind of a super cool surprise Mia is surprising us with well now she broke the surprise she's coming home for from summer school for a week just to hang out oh my god that's so, so fun, so, fun. So, so Amelia is super psyched we're all super psyched it's gonna be super cool so Aww. have some fun fun stuff planned so that's that's a that's a peak for sure that's so, so cute yeah. So. Oh my God! Look at you go, girl. No parking tickets gonna rain on my parade. That's all. Period, bitch. Period. Does anybody oh, else have any? Somebody, fu- oh, somebody wanted to say hi to you. By the way, <laughs> Jake. Oh, why? No. <laughs> why is that still? I'm gonna auction that off or like give it away on Patreon. Like that thing needs to like flap its wings and go fly. 
No. What's Ruth. funny is we can't even oh, see it, but I knew what it was. <laughs> Wait, I can't, I, can't, I can't see it. You, you guys can't? Because the way that we see oh, it, just, yeah, it's, well, yeah. it's time for secret. No, it's literally not. We're in, like, and I don't... We're in like Instagram portrait mode. Oh, oh. Yeah, how are you guys viewing um, it? You guys are like oh, little squares. Whatever. See, well, this is so fun unless you're listening to yeah, this well, because like. Why are we? <laughs> I, I would tell you what I did, but I have no idea what I did. Oh man, it's okay. Oh, maybe it's because of there this. was a time that I saw everybody in like thirds, but then I—that's exactly. Yeah, I don't know how I don't have that now. So sorry did not help literally at all. Um, but let's see, it's Friday. What is? Oh my God, last weekend I was in New York. It was so. F- guys, we need to do an unhinged New York trip, and like record a few episodes there. Like, guys, New York is so fun, and I feel like you. Justin and Sam would like, especially like, honestly, I'm kind of scared to go on a New York trip with y'all because y'all are like, y'all rip, y'all rip in LA and like in New York. (laughs) Like I'm a monster in New York. I'm scared of y'all, but maybe you guys should be scared of me. Hmm. I did like a full 72 hour bender and it, I think everybody should have a bender. No, I should (laughs) Not no, me promoting going on a no, bender, but like I think it's so important to like <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Like run yourself into the ground, into the subway, below the subway, and then like rise from the shit, piss, and vomit. Like I firmly love a good New York City bender. I didn't work at all. I just like woke up and like walked around, then drank, got like I ate cheese. Whoa. Like, my bowels have never been so explosive, almost as explosive as my will to live. Like, boom. I go to New York and I'm like, welcome to... No, I can't sing Taylor Swift. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, New York... No. <laughs> What'd you eat? Was that Jay-Z again? No, that was uh, <laughs> supposed to be Robert De Niro, but thank you for noticing. Uh, <laughs> I ate... Oh, my God. I So, I remember when I used to live there after, like, work some in the summers like some of my friends from the office would, we would all like go and it was a few blocks away from where the office was. And we would, there was, it was just like this little wine bar that I literally don't remember. I just remembered it was a wine bar that I enjoyed. And so I was like, oh guys, I know of this place. We went, we got the meat and cheese board and like, oh my God, that made my meat cheese so fully hard. It was like, so good. And like, the waiters were like sexy and like was was I hitting on them? Sure, maybe. Uh, um, did I get one of their numbers? Uh, yeah. Did I get one of their answers? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> did it go nowhere? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I think they thought I was like trying to be friends. I'm like, no, no, no. I have enough of those. Uh, I'm looking for someone to fill the 28 year long <laughs> gap of uh, the role of partner. A special void. So. Um, yeah, we went there, like, every night. Not, like, for them, but, like, genuinely, because, like, it, you sat outside. It just felt like fucking Europe. It was, like, across from this, like, old-ass building, building that gives Europe vibes. Like, oh, my God. I don't I don't know the name of it, because, like, the whole thing is in French, and it's, like, ten words, and I'm, like, I can barely speak English fluently. Um, so we did that, and then we went to this, like, Korean barbecue place that we love. Um, I spent a lot of money shopping, which... When I'm doing a house, probably not the greatest thing. But Jake, let's get some deals. Um, Have you been to Frank Ocean's store? <gasps> um, so I want to so <laughs> fucking bad. I'm going up to New York tomorrow, and I'm um, I really want to. But my friend Parker said it was closed. But then I just went on fucking Instagram, and that bitch is back open again or something. So I'm gonna go check it out, and I will give you the tea. But. I want it. I don't know why I'm so weird and giddy, but like, I just love New York. Like, uh, I heart New York. Um, they made a show about that. What's it called? <laughs> I love New York. Oh, is it a reality show? <laughs> have you, have you never no, seen I've that? seen that, you fucking <laughs> <Okay>. freak. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like friends or something. I was like, oh, God. Um, yeah, I just love New York. I walked around so much, got so much matcha. Like, I can't even tell you anything, like, significant I did. But, like, it was... It's just, like, fun even walking around all day. Like... Yeah, you get to Like, walk. I love walking. Even it was, like, balls hot. My underwear was, like, quite literally fused to my skin. And I was like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care that a tip of my underwear is in my butthole right now. 
Like, I'm just like so happy to be alive. And like, I'm like, whoa, what is in the air here? And then I was like, pollution. But um, yeah, that was really, really special. Guys, we really should do a New York trip. <gasps> When yeah, I was. When do we the get the fall? To come? Oh my god! In the fall, when it gets we nice. Just come tomorrow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Should we do a live show? <gasps> yeah, Jake, get on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Get call the theater. Call the fans. Hello. Put up the. Ba- We're doing Broadway, baby. <laughs> Can Unhinged be an off Broadway show that becomes off off Broadway, but then jumps to Broadway? <laughs> oh like Unhinged the musical. Welcome to Unhinged. This is the show. It's just me ad-libbing every night. I get on stage and just sing my thoughts. I'm like, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. Anyways, I'm not going to give too much away of my Broadway debut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a preview. Give it away for free. I know. I'm, you I'm already just... won a Tony Award, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'd like to dedicate it to me. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's episode, which is Dipsy. Are you feeling a little anxious or overwhelmed? Those feelings can make it hard to shift gears and get in the mood. With Dipsy, you can focus just on what makes you feel good. I like fully snotted. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and characters, no matter who you're into or what turns you on. Find stories about that intriguing coworker with a British accent or hooking up with your hot yoga teacher. Namaste. <laughs> what is literally wrong with me? Dipsy also has sleep stories, wellness sessions, and now they also offer written stories. It's your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, or just heat up things with a partner. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what is wrong with me? For Now, for listeners of Unhinged with Chris Clemens, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipseedstories.com slash unhinged. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D. I P S E A stories dot com slash unhinged. Again, that's dipsy stories dot com slash unhinged. Go get your climax girl or guy or whatever. Uh oh oops, sorry, got literally carried away. Let's get back to the episode. <laughs> On a less fun note, I almost got literally hate crime yesterday at Home Depot. Did you guys end up seeing this story? Because it all happened before. No. The story. I, I was that what those reviews were for? <laughs> yes. So, so I so I left those up because I was like, okay, that's really funny. All right, let me give you the rundown because this is actually great. I don't know why I always get like, I don't know why I always find myself in this these positions. Like, I don't. I I know I'm like weird and like a loud mouth and all that shit, but like. I genuinely did nothing wrong except, like, exist. I don't know. So, I'm driving to Home Depot, because I hate Home Depot, by the way. Like, ooh, Trump supporters. Um, I'm a Lowe's girl, but Lowe's wasn't really serving the uh, vent pussy I was looking for. So, I was looking for vents at Home Depot. There was my first mistake. Should have just stayed in my lane or looked online. So I'm driving, and there is this truck who I notice is, I don't know, putting on gloves to give me a colonoscopy, apparently. And I'm, like, making this turn to merge onto another street, and they are, like, in my asshole and then go around me. And I'm like, okay, I notice it's a big fucking red pickup truck. I'm, like, massive Ford F-150, shocker. And it passes me and I'm like, okay, thank God that bitch was away from me. So then I'm like just going into a different lane because I was stuck behind a car. So I'm just like driving, not paying any attention. And then I'm there's another slow car that's going like 20 under the speed limit. So I was like, let me just get around them. So I was three lanes over from the turning lane I needed to be in. So I got over into the turning lane and this truck ended up behind me again. And I guess he thought that I was like trying to race because that's like what toxic masculinity does when you like have to overcompensate with a pickup truck instead of just like coming to terms with the fact you have a micro penis. So I guess he thought that I was like speed racing and I was like, no, reluctantly going to Home Depot. Not thrilled. Let's not make this worse. 
So I'm in front of him now and he's really close to me, like closer than I've maybe seen any car. And I'm like, you're going to piss me off zero to a hundred bitch. Wrong, bi- wrong bitch, wrong day, every day. Like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> so I'm like waiting at like the turn to turn onto the next road and there's like traffic coming. So I'm waiting and I'm like, start to slowly roll. And this guy is like, in like i swear to god i just couldn't see anything outside of like my back windshield but his car and it's like a huge fucking car and so i break check him because i'm like bitch like politely like nothing crazy i just did like "Uh uh-uh and you see him like stop like he like almost straight up hit me and i guess that pissed him off again bro you are in charge of fixing this by not being inside of me (sighs) So I, I drive, and of course, he's, like, right behind me. And sorry, I was, like, not expecting this to be a story, so I'm, like, trying to recount this whole lead-up to it. And I was driving, we get to a red light, and he's behind me still. And I'm, like, okay. and then he's I see him just uh, flipping me off. I mean, just, like, literally veins popping out of his neck. So then the light turns green, and he speeds around me. And Justin, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to bleep, but it's really not my fault. He speeds by me. I'm not even looking at him. I'm giving him no attention. I'm like, I'm not engaging in this. Like, my name is Meredith Marks. I'm a housewife of Salt Lake City. I'm not engaging. And I'm just staring. And I hear, I like to drive without music sometimes. And this was one of those mornings. Big mistake on my part. I see him pass out of my peripheral, speeding by his, like, half of his body hanging out. He goes, I'll kill you, (gasps) Sir, it is 10.30 in the morning and we are both going to Home Depot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck. And so I'm like, okay. And so then, of course, he cuts me off. And I'm like, and like his whole hand finger out the thing. So I'm taking pictures of his car and I'm like, I have a feeling we're both going to Home Depot. And it's not because there's a giant bunch of lumber in the back of your truck. So I follow him into thing. Well, like, I'm literally following him because I'm going to Home Depot. And... He parks like early on in the parking lot and he's watching my car drive by. And I'm like, he cannot see where I park. And of course, I have a white Tesla, blacked out windows, and a California license plate. I stick out like a true, like a like a sore thumb. I was gonna say a true thumb. I'm like so worked up about this. It pisses, it pisses me <laughs> off. So I know what the guy looked like because he was like sticking his head and thing out the window back at me to flip me off. And I was like, bitch, I got it. You fucking hate me and you want me dead. Move on. You're this is like starting to become weird and fan behavior. So I go into Home Depot, I'm like doing my thing, and I notice him because I obviously saw his face. And he stares at me. And I'm like, because like I don't know how much people can see of me through my windows. And but the amount of time he stared, I was like, mm, yeah, I think uh he knows. So I was just walking, pretending like not to notice him because like he really just means so little to me and probably everybody else in his life. Um and so found nothing. I go and I see that his car is still there. So I'm like, let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I drive over because I'm in my car now and I'm like, whatever. I drive over and I record this video of him because I wanted a video of the man who threatened to fucking kill me after hate criming me. So I'm taking a video of this guy. I'm like, here he is. Oh my God. And then he stares dead into the camera, (gasps) dead into it. And I didn't back down. I, I was, I mean, like. I was here and his car was like diagonally across, like just like the lot thing. So he sees me and I drive off and I'm like, "Mm, bye. And then of course I can't, I just am done with that phase of my life of like letting people walk over me, like letting them get the final word. Like I really need to be the bigger person, but I couldn't. So what did I do? I, oh my God, he also had this bumper sticker on his car that like, just to paint the full picture of how big and gaping this asshole really is. <laughs> a bumper sticker. Of course, a red pickup truck. Duh, I already said that like nine times. I'm pro pipeline. My truck doesn't run on fairy dust and unicorn piss. Cool. Bro, literally Jeez. seek a therapist. I mean, like, I am not at this point ready to do another ad read, but bitch better help. That's a great start for you. <laughs> you know? Oh my God. And so I post on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, 
And I was like, this crazy driver was tailgating. So I did a little brake check because he was so close to me. He then sped around me and said, I'll kill you, F slur. I'm saving you that edit, bitch. And then, well, buddy, you picked the wrong guy. Sincerely, the F slur waiting outside your truck and posting the number plastered all over it. That's the thing. His truck has his entire company name. (gasps) Yes. Don't bother calling it because... It's already been disconnected because his day was ruined. Piece of shit. So I had his license plate. I had like all of that and I tweeted it and Instagrammed it. Wow, that's bold. People, my fans are lit. Like, I don't want to go out on a limb, but y'all are fucking crazy. And I love you. His Yelp tanked. Oh my God, let me read some of the Yelp reviews, guys. Fuck yeah. (laughs) They really (laughs) slayed the motherfucking house down. And I was like, don't mention my name. Like, if you're going to call, if you're going to yelp, do not mention my name. Like, terrifying. Because this man was like, definitely gave me yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be like... He'd be shooting up a building while the police are like putting hand sanitizer on and checking their phone. Someone goes, I never... I knew I never trusted a company that had people who believe that it's okay to drive erratically and even threaten the lives of others by calling them homophobic slur- slurs. Um, they just go on homophobic do not use while driving a company vehicle with the name and number plastered all over a worker yelled homophobic slurs out the window at another driver this is how you run your business you don't deserve any for some reason this guy called me the (laughs) this is one of my favorites from tati e for some reason this guy called me the f word when i asked him if he's good with pipes i just need my pipes welded and he got really flustered am i missing something anyway wouldn't recommend (laughs) (laughs) carlin f goes I needed a welder for the first time for my older parents. The man was extremely abusive to my elderly parents and told them to die already. I was shocked. Please stay away. I'm so sad for my parents. And then (laughs) this is my third favorite one from Marissa S. I had hired this guy to start. I had hired this service for my new business, which is the guy's name that everybody. Oh my God. Within five minutes, people found his house, his like business, his like, LinkedIn, like every single piece of dirt, like y'all are crazy. And I'm so thankful for you. Anyways, himself came out and told me that my new coffee shop was going to be for F slurs only and that he will kill us all. And then he kicked my dog that was laying down and minding her business. No one should hire this man. He is terrible. Like just the way people went in was so everything so then my friend christine called and i'm gonna play this christine i apologize greatly if you don't want me to play it but it's just too funny for me not to christine is one of those people who will like literally fight harder than you will ever dream of fighting for yourself and um so everybody started calling him and he thought that everybody calling him was me even though it was like 200 different numbers coming in with like all different area codes, like all of this shit. So he thought that I was doing this and he kept referring to me as Mr. California. (gasps) Wow. And so he saw my license plate clearly. Um, This is what Christine said. (laughs) Wait, hold on. Where is it? Here it is. I just I started moaning. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And he was like, you want to play stupid fucking games? I was like, you want to play stupid fucking games? And he goes, why'd you come beat me back down at the Home Depot? And I was like, why'd you come beat me down at the Home Depot? <laughs> and, he was like, and then he called me a and I was like, do you think I'm him? I don't, I don't know, but he answered. Hopefully he doesn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like literally though, that's like been my fear all day. I saw a red pickup truck today and I quite literally almost dove into a bush. Um, so everybody was calling him. Everybody was texting him. Let me see if I can find this DM that somebody or this DM someone sent. They found his Instagram? Yes, they found his Instagram and guess what the content of it is. Go. Uh, Punisher logo, uh, red hats. No. Um, dog fighting. Sam, your turn. <laughs> what did his thing say again about It said, unicorn? I'm the pipeline. I, my truck doesn't run on unicorn piss and glitter tits or something. I don't know. Car, <laughs> Trumpy things. I think, like, pictures of him, like, looking really jacked up. Guys. Is it ballet stuff? No, guys. I wish it was. I, I fucking wish that it was unicorn shit it is let me find it because i blocked him um but hold on let me find this dm really quick oh, do you, i can find it what, do you remember what the name is yeah <laughs> or no 
Um, I'll find it in a second. Okay, I found the, I found okay, the DM. Okay. Someone, so this is literally what someone texts him out of the blue. Someone DM me this. I would watch who, what you say to people. Instead of using slurs and calling people names, you can just take Viagra if you need help getting your four-inch dick hard. Grow up, especially as someone who's driving a business truck. I will be plastering all of your business pages with the fact that you are willing to yell, I will kill you, F slur, out of your company truck. Have a great day. Don't worry. I have your license plate info as well. And he goes, I have yours too, Mr. California. And that's the part that freaks me out. But that also feels like... I don't think his pea brain could have remembered my license plate if he tried. And then they, this person goes, oh, I'm not the person you had the altercation with. I'm in Iowa, actually. So have fun thinking you have the upper hand. Someone obviously doesn't know how area codes work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me find... Um, maybe bleep his name just because like, I don't want someone who knows him to like... I'm so sorry. I think like, bleep the name and the and the image for sure. Ugh, whatever. Hmm? Anyways, oh, unblock. Okay, so it's I'm gonna stop talking. It was just him with dead animals. Like Yeah, I think I, it's the Yeah, yeah Justin just showed it a, to me and it, I was like oh, I it's, wince. It's hor with his kids. He has four kids. One of them is definitely in the closet and will never come out. And I already have the I my idea. Oh, that's of, awful. That's the worst that's photo. Awful. It's, it's, yeah, it's him. Heinous. It's him oh. with like a bear. And, and it's a bunch of smiling white children. Yeah, and so that's why I definitely think he would kill me. But I have his address. Dude. And, I don't want to look at any. Yeah, no, it's like okay. a lot. So I blocked him. Um, and that, and I deleted everything pretty quickly because I was like, okay, this turned into something more than I was wanting it to. Like, I was just like, I don't know what I was looking for out of it. But I'm just like, don't fuck with me. Like, I I ruined his business Yelp. I ruined his phone number. I have ruined his day i mean that was easy um i mean all i had to do was just apparently like drive in front of him i mean like the whole thing was just off i was like i didn't even like in i wasn't even like fuck you in the wind like i was just like like that's all i was doing so anyways that's why i won't be shopping at home depot anymore um what did home depot do uh, like supported Trump, like supports those. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Home Depot is uh, like mega Trump vibes. And so are the customers. Um, so yeah, that was like my fun, my fun little day. Maybe he should focus his attention on taking care of his family. Well, no, he's a happy husband with like four perfect kids and like a gap in his fucking he's psycho. Happy husband, dad of four awesome kids, either chasing kids or chasing critters. Love my life. Or Chris Clemens. Yeah, or like <laughs> hunting down a gay person. You f Oh my God, sorry. I'm giving you so much bleeping to do. But like, oh my God, I literally hate people like that. Like, oh my God, it's a Thursday at 1030 in the morning. I have not had caffeine yet, my, my friend. Oh God! He de he deserves everything that's coming to him. I, I mean, I literally have his house well, address. That sounds so <laughs> someone was like, "You should, you should." This isn't a thread. No, it's not. A allegedly, no, I, it's just a fact. He deserves. <laughs> it's just a fact. I have his house address because somebody found it and tweeted it to me. But then someone Jesus. was like, "Oh my God, someone please subscribe him to gay porn magazines." And I was like, "That's <laughs> brilliant." Oh. Oh, you can just send it to it. Yeah, send him. No, oh my God, I'll just subscribe him to it. Sure. For like four for years. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's the best money I could spend, quite frankly. I'm going to look into that, actually, because that might be good. Um, oh, my God. It'll be under his name and everything. Oh. Yeah. As your manager, we'll talk after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like that idea of all of this. I think subscribing. A, I think subscribing is so is harmless. Funny. I'm just trying to open yeah. his mind to man-on-man like -man penetration. I think he needs to see more of that in his life because quite clearly he had not great men in his life. But that's beside the point. That was my fun day yesterday. Who else is having fun? <laughs> another day, another hate crime slay. And... Should we do a voicemail? <gasps> Order! Oh Order my God, wow, we are all on the Order. same page, but only Can one of us shit our pants. Anybody? Can someone do that? I almost ordered a pizza for lunch, but now I'm literally just sweating. Oh my God, that was horif horrific. I tried to turn it down slightly. I'm feeling so much better about this, like, through the internet, like, podcast, now that I'm not, like, hungover and exhausted from New York City. We shook off the cobwebs. What? 
I mean, I don't know if there are any cobwebs to begin with. I think I was just like, whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Am I going to so throw up? Yeah, You're right. Amazing. This is way better. <laughs> I really fucked uh, Jinked it. We're really finding our groove. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> are you ready for your Chris's court? I'm so ready. I'm ready to go to court. Like, I have that much fire in me. So let's fucking do this. I'm ready to solve Hi, some- Chris. Hi. My name is Ruby. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Ruby from North um, Carolina. So I'm high at the moment. So Love, I I'm hope not. when you're listening to this, you're on the same vibration with as I am. No, but I'm anyways, not. But anyways, my question to you is, do you pee as a reward for yourself? To give you a little bit of context, if I'm washing dishes, right, and I'm in my zone, you know what I'm saying? And I really got to pee. I will not pee until I'm done doing the dishes. Or, like, I don't know, like, what's another example? I'm cleaning the bathroom. I will not pee until I'm done doing my chores. Do you do the same thing or do you, or are you just like, oh, I'm going to go pee, like, whatever? Because I hold my pee until I'm done with my task. Like, a reward. Like, that TikTok, it's like a reward. Yeah, that's me. Anyways, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. What the fuck is going on in the South? Um, so to answer your question, put your fucking joint down and, like, step your pussy up. Because you're allowed to pee whenever you want. You can, like, be washing the dishes, turn the sink off, take a piss. You know what? Even I'll up you one. Take a shit. Pee on the dishes. And it's... (laughs) (laughs) All right, and then there's that. (laughs) Juror number 12, you're excused. Um, (laughs) I think... No. No. I've never... I don't think of... If I have to pee i think i just go pee life is short babe go piss girl <laughs> that is one of my favorite memes the gossip girl one where they turn change it to like i have to pee and it says go oh. piss girl and like yeah. why is the country falling apart gop girl like it is it kills me um if you don't know what i'm talking about just like go look up go piss girl meme um but yeah i guess like do whatever makes you happy you seem like you've got a great system a happy life Truly, I mean, I want some of your vibrations. Um, but, you yeah, know, I just, like, pee- like maybe if I'm doing the dishes, I'll, like, yeah, wait till I'm finished, but not as a reward, just because, like, I'm in the zone. I've never heard of someone <laughs> rewarding themselves with piss. If anything, like, I pee myself when I shouldn't be. So, I, I don't... I have heard, I feel like this isn't the first time I've heard of that. Though. Yeah, of using it as a reward? Of, 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 yeah, of sort of like waiting. Like I had a friend who always would like hold, but it was the other. I like hold my piss, but it's just because like I don't want to like go to the bathroom at a certain place or something. Like, but even still, I'm a dude, so I can stand up and piss anywhere. Or like I'll hold my, yeah, piss like during a movie at the theater because I can't pause it. But like, so I've thought about peeing into a bottle at the movie theater and then I was like, Chris, n- no. But like, because you didn't want to step over all the people. That's why no. I, I just didn't want to miss out. any of the movie. Oh. I mean, I paid. I, I paid to watch three hours of Elvis. You best believe I'm going to watch every fucking. <gasps> oh, se- you went to the movies? Yes. I feel like you never see movies. I'm not just lying. <laughs> well, I didn't know when. I don't. I'm, I don't lie, guys. Come on. <laughs> wow. It was the movie was so fucking long. Yeah, I saw Elvis. I pissed my pants twice. <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I rewarded myself with two pisses. I'm going. I'm going to see it again, but this time I'm rocking a diaper. <laughs> Have you guys seen Elvis? I want no, to. No, I want to. I like Baz Luhrmann a lot. It was. Oh my god! So I totally forgot it was a Baz Luhrmann one until I was like, "Why does this look like the Great Gats?" Oh, right, Baz Luhrmann got it. And then it was like directed by Baz Luhrmann. Ding, ding, ding! I'm so smart. That's when you realized <laughs> <laughs> when it said it. <laughs> Kinda. Well, no, I knew it because I was like, "That's the same style." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I was like. Like, I could totally tell it was his, but I just didn't know it was, like, a Basler. I heard it was a Basler, but it didn't stick with me. How was it? Was it good? Elvis was good. I definitely wish we saw more of, like, the three months of backed up stool and, like, death on the toilet. Like, oh, it doesn't. It's pretty gentle about the way he goes out. And I'm like, "Mm, as someone who did a fourth grade book report on him (laughs) or, like, famous person report on him and then had to dress up as him. In Goodwill clothes. <gasps> do, you have sure? the, do you have the photos? My mom absolutely has yes. a photo. And yeah, I you're think, at the source. Dare I say, I don't even want, I'm like, I would never go out on this kind of a limb. Do the costume. But I might even still have the costume. <laughs> 
Like, I got hoarding from my mom. No, although she, my mom would be pissed to hear me say that. Not that she's made it 43. Can you do the hips thing? The el- pelvis elvis yeah. or whatever? I mean, yeah, when I'm not sitting down with, like, a TV table in my crotch that's holding the microphone. Nah, all right, all right. It's, like, hard to just, like, readjust. Um, so I will not be getting up right now. But maybe that'll be on my Patreon, guys. Uh. Or send Justin a video later. No. <laughs> No, we will not be doing that. Um, But the movie was, like, good overall. I didn't realize how much, and I don't know how factual this is, because I didn't really, like, as a fourth grader, think about race. Um, But throughout the movie, he was, like, witnessing, like, Black musicians, like, sing in their homes, like, through, like, the cracks of, like, the wall, I guess. And he then would, like, take those lyrics and then write a song 20 years later or whatever. And I was like, wait, so did he... Was that, uh, was it, but he did, like, it was from a way where, like, he genuinely just, like, appreciated it. Like, it didn't seem like, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say this is, like, a white person, like, it wasn't appropriating. But, like, it definitely seemed like that was just, like, the music he liked and enjoyed because that's what he grew up with. Anyways, that was the one part that shocked me. So, not to spoil too much, but um, he dies. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, oh my God, the person who plays his wife literally looked like Casey Musgraves. It was so baffling. It was, like, so baffling. And she has a but song in it. I just saw Casey Musgraves. <gasps> yeah, he saw Casey Musgraves and Willie Nelson. In person or in Willie concert? Nelson. And Willie Nelson. He went to in concert? Show. In concert. So my homie works for Golden Voice. And so he's he he's the one who – he hooked it up for me and Sam. We, we went and saw Blondie and Devo and, like, all these great 80s, like, goth bands. Uh, but – he, I ended up getting tickets. You've seen Blondie? Oh, oh that was incredible. the best. That was the best. <laughs> fuck of that whole you guys. <laughs> Blondie, no, you guys, I, re, you guys really deserve that. But like, Blondie, fuck then you it guys. peaked, and then I was like blind drunk, and then we went and saw Morrissey, or like my body oh, walked Morrissey. over to Morrissey <laughs> without. <laughs> there was the lights were on, but no one was home. <laughs> uh, you were on auto. Yeah, you were on autopilot, bitch. <laughs> really, really quickly. Uh, so they, so my homie, when he got his ticket scanned, he was like, "Hey, we have like an extra one. Like, if you want to come down right now, you could like catch Willie Nelson." And I was Probably like, "Okay, Musgraves like thing. Willie Nelson is fucking eighty nine years old. I would love to go see him or whatever." Uh, and then Casey Musgraves was like headlining. The funny thing was, like, it was a day long festival, right? And so it was like it was um at the Rose Bowl, which is in Pasadena. Yeah. And so I'm walking in at like seven thirty or like eight p.m. Right, and I just see all these fucking white dudes with their shirts off and cowboy hats who like couldn't make it oh, <laughs> couldn't hang. just couldn't hang. Hang. all arm in arm like walking back and like they're like, we- they're, they're like yeehaw <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was funny wow oh my god was it good dude at the, yeah Willie Nelson killed it at the end he threw his fucking hat it was cool did and you catch case- it? no but I was envious as fuck uh, I would die for that Casey Musgraves was cool, but the cool thing is they had these like um, wristbands or whatever that like in uh, the audience, yeah, that like light up and shit to like the so it was all synced up. So that was cool. Oh, Honestly, nice. it was really sick. a lot of concerts have been doing that, and it is like kind of like a fun addition to it. And then the best part was later I got to gloat to Sam because I was like she called me back and I was like Sam, I'm I would I go to I would have swung. You're like, what were you calling me about? I was like, um, I, <laughs> wait, the little. <laughs> Oh, he had um, an extra ticket. That's so interesting. Um, you had an extra ticket he, he and didn't invite Sam? Me. No, he did, oh, did. But I was at a dinner and I missed his call. Oh, Sam, sorry. That's I was on like, you, why is Justin calling him in the middle of dinner? She and was then... at something way worse. No, it, it was S- so, Suddenly I... Sam is going to pick up every call now, Justin. You have such an upper hand. And he's so weird about it because you called a couple other people too. And I was like, well, you should have texted like, what it was about. And he was like, no. No, no, no. I, no, no, do I it call. Like that. You have to, you answer, you have to answer my call. That I get that though. It's like that's urgent. A text could sit there forever, and then she'll be like, "Oh, I can come," and it's like two hours later after you sent it, and you're like, "Well, it's not fucking relevant anymore." Yeah, yeah. The show. I was, was over. really, really jealous. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm like, that's like, I'm like hurting for you, Sam. I'm like, oh my god, I would have been devastated. You'll get another chance to see Casey Musgraves, Willie Nelson. I'm not so sure. Well, I'm just glad. Well, fuck I'm glad you. He's 89. I know, but like, <laughs> you don't need to rub it. You just like S- Sam. We're we're taking you to a, we're sending you to a Willie Nelson concert. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Right. Okay. We have to talk finances. You're sending bitch. me away. Go grab the record really quick. Um, we're sending oh. me away. Oh. <laughs> it's just what reminded me is because every time I come sit down he, right here at Sam's house, I'm looking over at her record player, and this is. <laughs> 
I have that record. Wait, where are my records? Where is all legendary? Them? Legendary. I have that record. What's in it? I'm oh, so okay, jealous weird. that there's pot. There, there's an eighth <laughs> in there. In there. <laughs> Every <laughs> record comes with an ounce of Willie Nelson weed. Oh my god, I've smoked Willie Nelson's weed, and it is so fucking strong. You could feel the pigtails growing. Oh my god, I literally felt the pigtails growing out of like my back hairs. Like I was like, <laughs> whoa. Like, just roll me up and smoke me when I die. <laughs> Period. Okay, for those I feel who like... don't know, that was a Willie Nelson song. Um, before we get into the next caller, um, I had something I wanted to bring up that I don't understand that I was thinking about a lot. Just with, like, the current conversations in our country, which sounds like this is going to be a much more intellectual conversation than it is. But, um, like, babies, right? Uh-oh. When you put sper- semen and an egg together, you're telling me that both parties just know how to like expand and then like, form the, like a human head and arms and legs. And then all of a sudden a heart just starts beating. How, what? Like, is that not confusing to anybody else that like, are you, are you describing the miracle of childbirth or are you, are you talking about like how people are like, it's that conception. women are amazing. No. So what got me thinking about this was like, there's you, Girls you know rock. <laughs> we make hearts inside of us. <laughs> I second what Sam said, right? Wait, what did Sam say? She said we make hearts inside of us. <laughs> oh my god, women are fucking incredible. Are you kidding? That's not even up for a debate. Like that that's a fact. Like that if that isn't an opinion, even though Mr. <laughs> oh, I need to stop referring to him as his first name. Red pickup truck would beg to differ. But it got me thinking because people are like, when they're like it, uh, So the conversations going on got me thinking about this. This has nothing to do with politics. Like, this is just, like, my own inability to understand, like, literal basic life. Um, So you, like, you know, you you pound it out. You finish inside. And then, like, a few weeks later, you're like, whoa. Or maybe not a few weeks later. I don't know the timeline, guys. Okay? I just only know how McDonald's and Taco Bell run through me. So I... So, like, okay, those mix, they're marinating, and then, like, cells form, and then you're like, okay, I'm pregnant. You find out you're pregnant, and then, like, you go to the doctor, and they're like, there's still no heartbeat. There's still no, oh, we have a heartbeat today. How the fuck did that happen? How the fuck did that thing just start, like, boom, 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 boom? And, like, how did all the veins form? And, like, what, like, how... I don't even know how to like get to the supermarket. You're telling me <laughs> this little tadpole and this little egg just were like, let's fucking go. <laughs> like we're let's build an arm ahead and ten fingers and ten t- like what? Is this not blowing? Does it's the miracle of life? It's awesome. But how? <laughs> we're, we're sending you to med school, Chris. No, the you fuck you're get- not. I can barely read like the notes I have for this episode, <laughs> let alone like an application form at school, (laughs) let alone a textbook. (laughs) Like, I don't... Is this not fucking with anybody else? I feel insane. But there's different stages. We all know how it works. No, I know there's different stages, but like... the egg developed the ovum, the... (laughs) Oh my god, I know, Sam. I'm not meaning to be mean to you. I'm just like... I I have stayed Sam, Sam, I have stayed Did you do mushrooms? I... Oh, if I did, that would have been like... From the top of this episode, I'd be like, I'm on shrooms! <laughs> That's where also, I would mean. never record this episode on shrooms. Like, I would never record an episode. Or of tell this. anyone. <laughs> I mean, my whole channel in existence would get wiped by Google Enterprises. Um, but I just don't... I, okay, maybe I should just read the room and shut up. But hmm. is that not... Is that not, like... Huh? To anybody? Like, no one seems to be having this kind of reaction to... Guys, speak. Someone say fucking something. I'm spiraling. Up up until like a year ago, I thought we hatched. No, you didn't. (laughs) Are you serious? No, dude. Oh, okay. Well, Justin, I don't know. With you, I I feel like I genuinely have to ask sometimes. (laughs) You you didn't know you were fucking walking and crawling on a broken knee, so... (laughs) I'll always just, just bring, a, I'll throw that right a, back in your face constantly. That's just because I'm tough. I, I kind of feel like if we went on TikTok, somebody might, I, you know, there's got to be a way to do this without doing four years of med You're school. so right. You're like, bitch, just keep this for your side TikTok and like, don't ruin the podcast with 10 minutes of like your weird spirals. Got it. Thank you. 
I heard that if you hold your pee long enough as a reward, <laughs> that nine months, if you hold it for nine months, your reward is a beautiful baby. Made of, made of gallstones. Like, fuck. Made of kidney over. stones. That's my biggest fear. That's my biggest fear. So I genuinely am like that. When that day comes, cut me open and get them out. I don't know. That's, if that's, that's male birth. Oh my God. There's gotta be. No, I, I can't. Gave birth to my, I gave birth to my, the result of my sins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have to that's, go. <laughs> I'm like, well, guys, how that's another episode in the can. No, how does a gallstone form? That's what I'd rather know, so I could prevent. It. Isn't it just uh, like sent sediment? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's I'm just, like. I'm like, it's like at the bottom of kombucha when there's all those crumbs. It's like they just form together. <laughs> like that's like literally their, how they, I would imagine. That's how it. babies are being. They just find your way. But yes, I don't the sediment. But no, but, but I don't. Which understand. part are you it's trying like, to understand? Like, I okay, so here's what I understand. Like, okay, no, here's what I don't understand. Like, I don't even know where I, like, this boggles my fucking brain so hard. Because, like, it's not like making a computer where it's like you need this to go to this source. It's like, my load swims to an egg. <laughs> it, like, one of them goes in. And then the rest just happens over nine months with no interference. No, sorry. Why are no? Why is nobody else tripping out like this? Am I high? No. Like <laughs> I am so baffled by this. Like, so a baby just forms, and we all look relatively the same. Like, like it's not like a a a bear and then a pigeon could come <laughs> out. Like, it, there's not that variation. It's like we all look. Like, we all have, like, a head and a neck and, like, a torso and arms and legs. Like, and how does that happen every time? And how does, like, the heartbeat start? And, like, that is crazy to me. Is this something that you've always wondered about or that it just, like, came to you? I think I've always wondered, but, like, it's really, like, starting to, like, I can't unthink it now. And it's really causing some stress. If someone could call in to 3108 for 46459, I know this is totally like, Chris, why don't you like Google or I don't know, pay attention in biology class. Both of those are out the window. So just call in and let us know. I would love to know. But like, if you actually know, but like, how does anybody know? Yeah, call in and tell us how you're making babies out there. Wait, you don't understand? (laughs) Wait, Sam, what don't you understand? I don't understand what you don't understand. Bro. (laughs) <laughs> that's what, that's why my mind is being blown. Let let me try and break this down. Even though I think I've broken it down as much as I'm, like academically able to. T- tell us, professor. You you're pounding it out. You finish inside. The sperm and egg meet. Yes. And then the cells expand. I understand that. It chooses, yeah. And then so they expand, but how do they not expand into like? just a fucking circle. Like, how do they expand into legs? Like, how does it know to expand into legs? How does it know to grow two arms? Like, how does it know to, like, build all this, like, cardiovascular system inside of a fucking blob of cells? Isn't it, like, DNA and chromosomes and are the building blocks of a... (laughs) Come on, Schoolhouse Rock! (laughs) Come on, Miss Frizzle! isn't Isn't it, like, our genetic code? I get... But, like... Going like okay, this. I thought that makes sense. You and I thought you just didn't understand. No, like, like I understand implanting of the no. Like the whole, okay, all right. No, I'm no. I just don't understand like how like we are so complex and so fragile that like how the fuck are we all formed relatively the same? Like yes, we all we have different appearances to, from skin tone to nose shape to mouth shape to eye, like to fingernail to hand. Oh. I have a good voicemail that's written that that is, <laughs> Sam's, that is Sam, related Sam's to Sam's like this. anything but this. Go, just wrap please. it up. No, wrap it up. No, no, it's but I okay, sorry. Sorry. I think I all just, four of us have a civil similar understanding of it. But like does that not just like blow your fucking mind that like one day just a heart starts beating inside of well not us, but like Sam, like a heart could just start beating inside of you that's not yours, that wasn't beating the day before. That is crazy yeah, to me. Yeah. There's the like where does the Michelle blood come Wolf? from? No, the blood comes from the mom. I got that. (laughs) No, no, no. I got that. We're good. But I don't. I saw. I can't remember exactly what the joke is, but an element of Michelle Wolf's joke was talking about how crazy it is to like grow like if you have a boy to grow like a penis inside Hmm. you as a woman is just like a funny. (laughs) That is like kind of wild to (laughs) think about. (laughs) 
<laughs> Did but, you guys see um, that lady in Texas who went viral for riding in the carpool lane? Yeah. And oh yeah. She had a she was pregnant and they were like, she was like, Well, if Texas insists on this being a person, bitch, I've there's two of us. I was like, that is so badass. I think she still got the ticket. No, she absolutely did because like hypocrisy is Republicans' middle name. It doesn't work for the people. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh God. Anyways, that is like my quandary that I just had to get to before. Have you have you ever thought about how your wiener's in your mom? Wow, when I hear it like that, I don't need to know anymore. So let's hear a voicemail. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> you ever thought about my wiener being in your mom? Hey, Chris. Um, I am currently sitting outside of my job okay. right now. So I'm going to try to make this quick so I can run back in. Okay. Um, basically, I've been having a debate with my boyfriend for some time now. Um, just for some context, we've been together for about three Same. years um it's pretty serious we're moving in together all that stuff um but basically i really want to hold his penis while he pees but he won't let me he thinks it's super weird and uncomfortable um it's just like a curiosity thing for me honestly um like i don't have a penis never have um kind of want to see what it looks like when a man does pee um, I don't think that's weird, and my siblings have both done that with their partners, and they don't think it's weird, so let me know what you think, because I would love to get this settled. Okay, I love you, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a moment of silence for, like, literally just having to witness that voicemail. Huh? Like, here's the thing, I am... So his pee would be, like, her reward. <laughs> the way that that just i said his p will be like her the reward. way that that is just coming around full circle constantly is a little disturbing um so what is my thing if i think it's weird or, or should she should her boyfriend let her or yeah do you think that's know. weird that she wants to here's do that? the fucking thing i bet that her boyfriend wants to stick it in her ass if they haven't and you know what if she wants to hold his dick while he urinates just for science, I think that's a much better, I think that's a much nicer thing to ask than like, hey babe, can I stick it in your ass? You know, like- But she's asking to do it. Not yeah, him. to hold, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I That's see. still not as okay. like, if anything, I'd be like, great, I don't have to hold it this time. Like how nice. <laughs> like it's like having a tripod hold up your camera rather than like setting it down on rocks. <laughs> you know the dudes that stand at urinals like this? Oh my God, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Oh, you can just know that they're the people who are like death threatening me in traffic. <laughs> yeah, they're the red truck owners. <laughs> yeah, my fucking micro pin. <laughs> like they do that probably because they have oh. nothing to hold on to. Sorry if you do that. Yeah. I it just is like greatly <laughs> disturbing to me. Like, no. No, I'm not sorry. You know what? I'm allowed to have fucking opinions. Wow. No. True. I've never seen that before. Well, you no, know, you uh, uh, have you been in a men's bathroom before that you need to tell us about? Tell us about Yeah, everyone's been into other bathrooms. But I guess I haven't been when there's like a lot of men in See, it. See, this is why we should be worried about straight people in bathrooms. Like, I don't know why. Like, a trans person is never ever going to be like, <sighs> like, we're all just like, I've been in another bathroom. I've seen guys pee. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the worst is at baseball stadiums when they have those big troughs. The fucking troughs. The troughs. And, then they, and then persons. And then sometimes ice. Yeah, yeah. Ice in the trough. <laughs> that, I, I mean, troughs are just... And it tastes terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know that some drunk person is like, hey, there's ice for my beer. No, <laughs> I mean, Ew. I would hope that even baseball attendees who are drunk aren't still that stupid. I hate baseball, so I just will shit on it all day long. Wow, okay, I think I think we've all endured enough. You, me, everyone listening, even the fucking stuffed owl is like, okay, yeah, I could I could go now. You could donate me to somewhere. <laughs> Jake, what? <laughs> Sorry, there was a moment of silence because Jake was literally petting the owl. Oh. That that is kind of cute. It's perched. And then I remember it's literally $14 stuffed animal. And then it gets less cute. You're muted. So that's probably for the best. Thank you, everybody, for <laughs> listening to this episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens. As always, make sure you rate and review it. Thumbs it up if you're watching the video. I don't know why I said thumbs it up. I haven't said that in years. 
Um, and then subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Video episodes are on youtube.com slash Chris. Any final words, guys? Um, you should see if you can hold your pee for the entire length of this podcast. And that's that. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.